Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. Welcome to episode four of our Warhammer Rogue Trader Let's Play. Really, really happy to be with all of you. In the last episode, we cleared out the docking area of Rykad Menorus, and now we're going to try to fight through the city so that we can reach the governor and find out what the heck is going on here. Uh, just want to say before we get into it, really appreciate <laughs> all the comments reaching out, asking where is part four, where is part four. Happy to see that it seems at least some of you are definitely enjoying the Let's Play series. I've kind of matured as a content creator, so it used to be if I started a Let's Play series, I would go through it all the way to the end no matter what, but now I'm of the mindset that, you know, if the channel is no longer enjoying it, there's no reason to keep releasing three hours of content you know, per day for people who are not even going to bother watching it. So as long as you all are still interested in this, I absolutely love doing Let's Plays and I'll keep coming up with episodes. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Light of Terror, guide oh, wait. our way. This mansion must have been damaged by an explosion or a large shell. You can still see some of its former luxury within. Hmm. A young man in a planetary guard uniform salutes you. Your Lordship, Private Camille Regius, ready to escort you to the command center for your meeting with the governor. I regret to say that the convoy sent to meet you was ambushed and took critical losses in heavy fighting against the rebels. In other words, I'm the only survivor. However, the rebel force was destroyed as well. We can set out for the command center. The success to failure ratio of combat objectives completion for this world's military speaks to its subpar efficiency. I will advise the local ruler to seek my fraternity's aid in upgrading their troops to servitor manipuls. Wow, that's terrible. Awareness. Your uniform looks odd on you, soldier, as if it belongs to someone else. Uh, apologies, your lordship. The soldier draws himself up and goes to adjust his gear. It's a new uniform. The guards are in a difficult situation right now, so we often get issued what's left, and it isn't always the right size. Your mouth is full of mud, soldier. What are you hiding something behind beaming hues of faith and loyalty? What is it? The soldier gulps nervously under the stern gaze of Cassia's ruby eyes. For fear, I guess? In times like these, if you give in to weakness, you're done for. And I'm not done with life just yet. Adira winces, glances at you, and then shakes her head. How did you make it out alive if your entire convoy perished? The Emperor protected me. The soldier replies with confidence. I didn't run, your lordship, if that's what you're thinking. I was by my commander's side until the very end. I shot the last rebel from the gang that attacked us. But alas, the captain succumbed to his wounds and the others had already died. The emperor rests their souls. Adair winces, glad we just said that. What can you tell me about the insurgency? The ungrateful rabble rose in rebellion against the planet's lawful governor and his lordship Caligos Winterscale, our ruler by the will of the emperor. They are all heretics deserving of a most terrible death. Order will be restored. The guilty will be punished. Mm, enough talking. Let's go to the command center. Yes, your lordship. We just have to take this avenue. It leads from the starport right to the command center. It's a short walk. Hmm. Suspicious. But we're going to have to deal with it right now. Something large and heavy plowed down the entire width of the street. You can only guess what could have caused such damage. Yeah, that's just cargo. What no deeds problem. await us? The temple door does not budge. It may be blocked by rubble from the other side. Let's proceed. Ah, so nice having Pascal. Clear all those checks. This shuttle must be what crashed into the building and destroyed part of the street. How can one find the right way Over without there. his light? There are traces of a recent battle everywhere, including bodies in planetary guard uniforms. As it should be. 
the young man sighs. The remains of my squad. Once we put down the rebellion, they'll be given the last honors they deserve as soldiers fallen in a righteous battle. The battlefield looks highly suspicious. Half of your comrades never even had the chance to draw their weapons in the direction of the shots as well. The attackers knew exactly what path the group would take and how large it would be. The enemy is smart and cunning. Perhaps they were watching us. I must report this to the governor. Aim your weapon at the private. Too many parts of your story fail to add up. I am beginning to wonder if you are a traitor. I swear, your lordship, I may have gotten a few things mixed up from inexperience, and that's why they don't add up. Please, let's walk to the governor's command center. I must carry out my orders. Once we get there, you can have the intelligence run a check on me if you wish. I'm a loyal soldier, and that's the truth. Do not believe him, Lord Captain. Pale green is seeping from his every word, and I know this color of deceit well. I once mistook Felix's words, so humble and full of sweetness for sincerity. In truth, they were poison. Kill the private in times of war. It is better to execute an innocent than to have a mole in one's ranks. Blast you scum! Aurora will get you all the same. Aurora and the final dawn! And one trader down. Super cool. I liked uh, I the way the party members chime in. Well, that's good for you, Argenta. <laughs> uh, I, I really like... Uh, how much party party members chime in during that whole sequence party member banter during conversations i feel like is really good from what i've seen so far in the game the emperor is if, with us if you ah. didn't kill the guy downstairs this becomes an ambush and you cannot move your party members around uh prior to the battle starting Unless they've changed that for um, uh, for the full release, which I doubt they did. Hmm. hmm. Go here. In fact, you can go a little bit closer here. Pascal. Pascal can hang around, I guess. Good enough. All right. Oh, that's right. You go first. Uh, you know what? We'll let you get first run because that should be a nice guaranteed isn't this a job for the surfs there we go. you're out of here and who's going up next Cassia here you Me? go Cassia a little boost you for you insist, Lord Captain. and there we go there we go and now you now how you doing here 94% it's because of that boost and there we go boom 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 do, do. And how we're doing here? 29%, 47%. It's probably worse. Uh, we'll go with you. Let's see if we can take you out. And look at that. And then we'll go ahead and give some momentum. Why not? And let that be that. Ooh, he's a fire starter. I didn't even catch that. I did not catch that. But oh well. Let's go ahead and deal with you. Sure have. And oh yeah, that oh come on man. Indeed. First one injured you, the next one will take you out. Ooh, next up is Lord Highlander. What do we want to do? I guess. Uh, you know, for this fight, we'll go ahead and yeah, we'll use you. Why not? And then give you a little bit of that boost. And then let's go ahead and give you that. And then you can do this. At your beck and call. Excellent. And that's exactly what I was hoping for. So he'll go here. We'll rule the stars themselves. And do 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 do. We should deal with this. Do 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 do. 
I will do my duty. Excellent. No I've reason to go all the way down there. But we can. Can we throw our grenade? It can only. We can throw our grenade, but it would only hit one person. I'm not a fan of that. Actually, can you? No, we can't charge close enough to. But we could charge close, uh, close enough to hit more people with that grenade. So you know, we will go ahead and charge. That's fine. Looks like he he ate that no problem. And then we'll hit two people with this grenade. And there we go. And then Victory we'll give yourself a little bit more protection. And there we are. And he has one more action point. So let's go ahead and use that on you. And you're out of here. And Lord High Slander just had an absolutely fantastic turn. Fantastic. All right. Um, first and foremost, let's see what you could do. All right. Somebody came forward. Sorry, that's my medication reminder. But I took my Step medication aside. before I started this. All right, uh, that won't reach over there yet, no. Um, I guess we, she already gave you a buff, I so am a navigator, it's who it is. Not a servitor. And... Oh, wait, that will... Oh, right, 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 because we already used voice of command on you. But, but you won't be able to move, right? So it's probably not going to help much. Um, do you have anything that's giving you extra movement when you start turns? Probably not. So, yeah, there's really nobody good for her to use this on. He could throw another grenade, but I don't want him to waste all of his grenades. So, we're going to let that go. Can she give you some extra protection? She can't, which definitely means, yeah, nothing she could do either. Is this got enough? No, nope, that doesn't have enough range. Excellent. Dodge. <coughs> Let's see. No. Nope. Avalar, you really ran down here, huh? They don't even have any exploits on them, so no, it's just all a bust. God Emperor right, moves through me. here. Be the fire in my heart. And then she'll come here. Oh, uh, she still can't hit any of them. Dag it. My place is at the fall. Noom, 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 noom. There we go. And yet again. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, and it won't. It, it considers that to be kind of blocking the path, so I can't get quite to him. Oh, crap. I shouldn't have done that. I should have put on Endure. Oh, well. All right, fine, fine. Um. Why? She's not ready yet. Move. Let's see if we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get you in a position. Ooh, look at that. Can I do that for you? Yes, I can. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. At your beck and Ooh, that looked painful. Ooh, that looked just as painful. Excellent. Relatively smooth. I don't need that. We'll just send that over here. The food in the stalls is covered by a thick layer of stone dust. It was all abandoned in a hurry. May if such is the Emperor's will. And Flamer. Much to the disappointment of some of you, we will not be using Flamers in this particular playthrough. I do prefer to use Argenta with um, bolters, but success is measured in blood, yours and your enemies. I'm going to do three runs of each um, of each disposition, and then once um, some information is about regarding like secret endings, I assume like all of uh, Alcat's other games, there's going to be some sort of secret ending in this. Um, when we know what that is. I'll probably do a fourth run and specifically get that ending. And if it makes sense, numerous pumps, compressors, and other machines are thrumming away on the lower levels of the Great Bridge. If it makes so sense, that playthrough will probably be with Argenta using a flamer and me uh, playing as a pyromancer. The mobile charging stations chatter and crackle 
The piercing sound is easily distinguishable even in the surrounding turmoil. I'm giving very, um, uh, I'm seriously considering restarting my live stream as a uh, different character. I'm really unimpressed with Pyromancer thus far, and I know it's er still early. Attention is ordered by the planet's lawful governor. To prevent recurring rebellions, all planetary guard patrols are to be doubled. All conspirators and instigators will be harshly punished. I know it's early, but man, I am, uh, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all. I feel significantly weaker than I do in this Imperial run. And to be frank with you, I started a little bit of my Benevolentia run where I'm a, a crime lord who's a operative, operative sniper. That also feels way, way, way more powerful than playing as a Pyromancer. So just overall, the slow creep up to getting to the point that my damage is respectable, I'm not feeling it. And so, um, definitely considering, like, not starting over on the live stream, but like starting over myself and then blazing through to get back to the point where we were. And then, yeah, running we it with a different character. Entertainment. But we'll see. We'll see how it ends up working out. But of course. Why does she not there and there? What's the problem? Uh, are they saying it's not close enough? Oh, they've set it up where you can't do that. Okay, fine, whatever. No big deal. Mm -hmm, Cassia. Uh, no, Abelard, you go here then. And Cassia will come. Oh, you know what? I don't like that though, because Cassia's way down in the um. Whoa, you need to be behind cover, little lady. Oh, this is it's still behind cover. Okay, cool. Just doesn't look like it. Yeah, he doesn't need to be that far back. And then Pascal. Yeah, you can come here. It's fine. All right. Uh, that looks about right. Sure. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting he goes first. Uh, yeah. You do that. And you. Come on back here. Somebody was impacted but resisted. Ah, uh, we're going to have to get your stats up, girl. And who's going next? Abelard is actually going next, but I can't reach him. So we'll give a... Can we do a deer? Yep, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yep. Those those guys can all do their thing. Oh, 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 oh. All right. You guys think this is a good time, but actually I'm going to make you pay. There we go. And then, yeah, we're going to do this. Looks like he's just aching to get in on the action. There we go. And then we're going to chill here. Now, Pascal... Mm-hmm. They got yeah, they got exploits so here. Do this. Do this. Do this. And then seventy-two percent sure. Oh yeah, that's us. We need to get him a better uh weapon. I forgot about that. Alright, um Nope, she can't do that. So instead, she'll just do this. What? What's that? There we go. And then, can she see you? Yes, she can. Okay, cool. Help give you a little bit more dodge. Whoa. Uh oh. I don't like the way that screen darkened for a minute. That was. Anything is. That was rough. That was weird. <laughs> and now let that go. Excellent. Me. You come on down. If you insist, Lord Captain. There you go. Yeah, come on out. Come on out and play. There we go. We like that. Um, I actually want to do that for Jetta, and then you could take, uh, yeah, you could take this kill. It's more guaranteed that you'll be able to actually do this. We'll do. There we go. Heck, discharges of the motor force fill the air. No problem. There we go. Yeah, go ahead. Come on out. All right, now. 
she's going to come out here and rejoice in battle. Hey, look at that. Um, this is as good as it's going to get. Okay. Hmm. Could have been better. There we go. 3820 or 3125. We'll take. Where's that 38 at? Hold on. Oh, we can only get 38 when uh, he's not looking at the other one here. We'll take I'll do this. It. Yeah. It is. There we go. Good enough. And let's get a little bit more of that. Yeah, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. All right. Uh, but you know what? If we use that on her. She's not, she's only going to be able to target him. She's not going to be able to get the other guy. Because three squares is not enough. So you know what? We're just going to let that go. We're going to let that go for now. And instead, give this to you. Couldn't we? No. Give this to you. There we go. Boom, boom. Follow my lead. Follow my lead. And we'll get this to you. There we go. Victory is imminent. There we go. Good enough. Oh, yep. Yeah, actually. It will be done. Yep, wipe you out. Excellent. And now we get right next to you. And hopefully give. Is that a good enough angle for Lord Highlander? Oops. Doom, doom. Yes, it is. Now you get an extra turn. And that's all she wrote. Excellent. Ooh, look out upon the pretty desolated landscape. Ha ha! My sight is true. All right. Went relatively well. So see, it's like simple fights like that where I feel like I'm figuring it out in my live stream, but I'm really depending upon my party members. Whereas in this one, my main character is absolutely a nice a, uh, a big part of the battle. And I'm sorry, actually, my my main character is a big part of what's going well, but she's doing it. A powerful explosion destroyed a large part of the bridge, both above and below. Could someone still be alive in there? She's doing it by ignoring um, psycho mechanics, which, what is the point? <laughs> If I'm ignoring psycho mechanics in order to succeed, man, I might as well not play a psyker. From your vantage point, it does not seem like this lavish mansion has been damaged by explosions, but you cannot enter. Something is blocking the entrance from the inside. I'm, um, I almost feel like it might be better served if the game starts you at a side rating one instead of side rating zero. I think that would probably help significantly, but we'll see. I'll probably end up sticking with it just to see how well it scales up, but not all that impressed thus far. And it's making the live stream a little bit less fun than it should be. But on the flip side, Rebels, soldiers, and ordinary workers, everyone perished under the rubble of the ruined bridge and buildings. But on the flip side, I love um, seeing the differences between heretic and imperial uh, runs. So that's been really cool, especially since we're playing these, doing these playthroughs kind of side by side. And so I can say, I'm oh, priceless. this happened in a very different way when I did it as See, an imperial. Right so. There. That part is absolutely cool. Duty prevails. Um, I feel like there we go. Never doubt me. There we go. I was like, I, I just know there's something else over here. Marching on. Go. I better myself through my service. Emperor favors me today. Whatever you wish. So many traps in this Never game. Demolition is just absolutely a requirement. Especially if you want to get access to better stuff. The, 
These enormous transformers emit a heavy, unpleasant hum. Did I fail the check? I did. That's why it didn't tell me more. Interesting. All right. Let's see what's around the bed. Activating motion force reserves. On his journey across the world, caught in the throes of a heretical insurgency, the Lord Captain accidentally witnessed an unholy rite that transpired in one of the maintenance rooms of an aqueduct. This abandoned nook turned out to be a heretic's gathering place for performing their grim and profane acts. The large group of rebels stood frozen in patient anticipation, all staring into the center of the room. No one moved. Only the murmur of hearse voices echoed against the metal walls. The Lord Captain ran a cursory glance over the room, assessing the situation. The rebels were unremarkable in appearance. They were dressed in the shabby clothes of abject rabble, spoke in coarse voices, and had repulsive faces. But what caught the Lord Captain's attention was a look of strange, almost sinister anticipation in their eyes. This was no gathering of loud blasphemers or bored idlers. Only occasionally would they exchange brief, unintelligible remarks. As they stood in a frozen circle, their gazes turned toward the hulking structure in the center of the room. Bulky power transformers, cogitators, crates, and box casters took up most of the space. Against their background, the structure in the center stood out oddly, an enormous lens mounted on a stand. It caught the thin sunbeams that made their way through slits in the ceiling and crossed the half-lit room. Lower warp, the rogue trader surveyed the peculiar structure with great attention. The enormous mounted lens was doubtlessly imbued with the power of the arch enemy, inimical to all that is noble and virtuous in the universe. Anyone caught in the corrupted light it emits will face horrifying consequences. Awareness, the Lord Captain peered into the darkness enveloping the room. Although barely visible behind the closed ranks of the insurgents, the rusted barrels with evidently flammable contents had not escaped the Lord Captain's keen eye. One good shot at those barrels would decimate the number of heretics on Rykat Menors. The Lord Captain patiently observed what happened next. As if commanded by a grim, unseen force, the insurgents fell silent at once and, in a single movement, parted. A thick, sticky silence filled the room. The heretics' gazes were turned toward a metal structure with a lens on top of it, standing tall in the middle of a circle of melting candles, piles of books, and unholy symbols drawn on the floor. The structure flashed as a single sunray illuminated it. A sound of bare feet broke the sinister silence as a man emerged from the deep shadows. Reeling, he entered the circle and collapsed on his knees in front of the enormous lens. Not a second had passed before many rebel hands grip the fallen man's shoulders and hair. Remember, comrade, the last sun ray you behold will be yours only, shared with no one else. Your holy final dawn bellowed a lone heretic's voice amid the silent crowd. By the doing of someone's hands, the lens had turned, and its focused ray feasted on the prisoner's eyes. The blinded man's harrowing scream shook the very walls of the place. Consumed by the right, the rebels had not yet noticed the stranger in their midst. The Lord Captain braced himself and shot the warp lens, destroying its charms. Pain is meaningless. Only she can show me the light. Cross that! All right. So, looks like Cassia will kind of go first. Um... I hate that they put you here right next to the steam. If I remember correctly, when I put my character over here, the steam is going to hit him. Let me check and see if that's true. Because it seems so odd that they would force you to be in a position that's to your detriment. Make sure he'll go on the other side. And all right, yeah. So I think he's fine, but maybe anybody else who cro crosses through there, they're gonna take damage from that scheme. Um. I kind of want Kasi to be in a better position, but 
not cops yard gentle to be in a better position but you know we'll just go with this for now um yeah we should be able to take out one of them if i may excellent kind of i guess and then yeah Isn't she'll this a you a little bit subs? and then that's it and that's all you can do. All right, now you. I should go ahead and take him out. There we go. You're done for, sir. And uh, sure, we'll give Avalar a little boost. And then you. Why not? Is she not close enough? Oh, crap. That's unfortunate. And there's no way with in cover for her to get closer. So... Damn, that's unfortunate. Um, oh, you know what? Avalar could just go ahead and use charge and move forward. Um, but I don't like that either. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to turn off this steam. If I remember correctly, you got to be here. Of military tactics. There we go. Turn off this steam. Come back over here. She can she can chill right over with him. All right. I've seen worse Come battles here. than this in my time. At your back and I took care of this there one. There we go. There we go. Do that. And you know what? Yeah, go ahead and do that. And that's it. They're all gonna come up. Let's get their turns. All right, now. Um, you know, first and foremost, sooner or later you're going to start doing what you're supposed to do. And we'll give you some of this. And you know what? I'll give you some of this as well. So you can move into position because there's some guys. Yeah, there's some guys over there. We'll move you over here. Does that make sense? Or we could kind of want you over here. That's going to put you more in the action. You know what? Nah, Guys, you're just going to chill face. over here for a second. That's fine. Oh, wait. No, no, no. You can come over here. And then you can come over here. I'll do it. There we go. And now you're chilling. And... Yeah, they're not close enough for that to be as useful as I want it to be. Uh, and you... Um... Which are the exploding barrels? I can't... These are the... Ex should be the exploding barrels, right? So, you know, let's try it. Let's see what happens. There we go. There we go. Took out one of them. And damaged another one. Well worth it. All right. Now it's her turn. Um, how... Oh, you got 95? Let's go. Oh, excellent. 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 Get another one. And that's an 82. Interesting. We'll and there's some others that I that she can hit well as well. So we'll go ahead and take it. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and take some week. extra momentum. And does that? Yes, it does. Okay, we'll take that. And then go ahead and take that. Excellent job, Argenta. Excellent job. Keep it going. Keep it going. 43%. I don't like that. That's also 43%. This is 82. We'll take that. A little better. Yep. Takes two of them. As no the problem. Commands, I ask to there we the go. And is that it? Is that all? Faith mm -hmm. deeds is it was good while it lasted. Thank you, Argenta. Help, uh, helping to keep Avalon alive. Go hand in hand. All right. Now, Adira. I don't think there's any possibility you're going to be able to get close enough to actually do anything right now. Oh, but I could have could have put you in a position to actually help old boy, but it is what it is. And you know what? You anything can come is. closer. Walk through that steam. Walk through that steam and come towards me. And you know what? I'm going what to set you up. To be ready for... You know what? Actually, can I reach you? No, no, she can't. It's unfortunate. But, all right. 
Uh, oh, that's right. I do have Pascal. Okay. Uh, can you hear anybody from me? You can. So, do any of these? None of these guys have really exploits right now, but we're going to turn this on anyway. And they give. Where's that leader? Here, here's the leader guy. Yeah, give you an exploit and then give you one of these. So hopefully, Abelard can help deal with you. And then he's just going to pick somebody. 41, 41, that's all pretty much 41 here. Might as well pick the person you put all those debuffs on, but still isn't going to do much. It's fine. Oh, look at you. Creepy from around the corner. Ooh. All right, and she's going to come over here. Emperor, give me strength. And then, hey, somebody come on back here with her. Excellent. You're out of here. All right. Um, sure. Do that for you. Insist, Lord Captain. And then she'll also do this for you. Um, and you can, can you get him? You can, you can do a good deal of damage, but you can kill, just kill two of them this way. Didn't happen, but it was a nice try. Um, and yeah, I like go way back here, so we'll just chill. Um, uh, tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Tried and tested tactics. Hmm. You know what, honestly, I don't need him to, uh, you know what, he's going to be out in the open regardless, so might as well move him up. You know what, no, I like him back here. Make him come to him. And you know, we'll also go ahead and use a couple extra points to turn on slight Slash in case we need it, and then let that be that. Fire starters coming up, yeah, see? Them. There we go. Now, yeah, I think now this works for me. Sure, let's do it. Mm-hmm. And you. Indeed. you target. Excellent. And yep, At both of you. And, and that's all she wrote. And he, does this work? Nope. Drag it. Would have been nice. Uh, but it does still work for you. And you should be able to target someone else, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's 59. 59. Not all that impressive, but it's okay. Doubt is for the weak. Do 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 do. Oops. And let's see if we can get one more. Nope, that missed. Oh well. Alright, now you. Probably might want to take off that boss, but I'm not killing anybody no matter what. Um Yeah, we'll deal with you. Ooh, look at that. Like that. Alright. Let's uh get her a little bit closer. That's not cover. Oh, but this is. I Here we go. This battlefield in righteous fury. Listen, let's up some of those percentages. Except no, it didn't. Oh, this is 95%, but I don't want to hit him because barely doing any damage to him. There we go. That helps a little bit. Oh. Very nice. Yeah, that's not gonna help you much, bro. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, I should have, I should have moved her up some first. That was a mistake. Oh, well. Here, let's do it again. Can we, yeah, actually, could do it on him. He's going to go before Abelard will, so let's get that attack of opportunity, and then that should hopefully take him out. Does she get exploits on any of these people? No, she can't see any of that, so. That's as far as we get here. Uh... Really? He can't get to... He can't attack that guy from here? Okay, fine. Um, you. 
Let's set you up for Argenta. Running by mm -hmm. hand right. There we go. Comprehends all. Yeah, you still not doing anything to you, but he might do something to you. Nope. Ooh, tried to run. All right, and now Cassia, uh, she can't quite reach over here, but you know what? They're so distracted, they're not going to be shooting back over here anyway. So let's go ahead and bring somebody back over here. Oh, look at that. Somebody's down. Did she take out the... Uh, uh, she took out the leader. She took out the leader? Damn! She dealt 42 warp damage to the leader. I didn't expect that, but I'll take it. Okay. Um... All right, um, there's nobody who means the buff, so Lord High Slander, let's see what you can do. There you go, that's exactly who I wanted you to target. 86% might not kill him, but you do some decent damage, hopefully, maybe. Yes, we did. And that's all she could. Nope, that's about all she wrote. All right, there are two people left. One of them is this guy here. Where's the other one? Oh, there's another guy that's behind over there, okay. So let's go here and then can we charge to you we can't quite get to you but we can get to the square in front of you and then there we go Ooh, now it's his turn um nope don't do that yeah this is good as it's gonna get all right, uh, do we need two action points? No, we can use one. There we go, one's down. Um, you move around. See if you can get, yeah, there's no, the enemies of the Emperor will there's no be lane that's gonna let you. As the Emperor commands, I act. Yeah, I'm gonna have to chill. Oh, you know what? I should have gave another turn to Cassia. She could have used her force movement ability and uh, probably Emperor ended this, but me. oh well, whatever. It's fine. 25%. Come on now, I just let off uh, four shots. Why didn't it just go ahead and let me... You gonna try to run? Come on now. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Nice massive uh, fight. The pain is meaningless. Your eye is drawn to the shards of the enormous lens scattered around the broken device. At first, you are uncertain as to what troubles you, but suddenly the realization hits you. The glass shimmers in a unique way. Just the same way as the shards of the unknown broken object you found near Theodora von Balancius's desk. What's the matter, Lord Captain? Why are you so interested in... Abelard trails off when he notices what you're looking at. He instantly makes the connection. By the Imperium Saints! It cannot be! Adair bites a lip. Hi. I, I see it too. Whatever that thing in her study was, it was made from the same material as this junk. What? What? Abelard is at a loss for words. He takes a moment to collect himself, and all at once they start pouring out in a hasty sputter. It's a mistake. Slander meant to blemish the good name of a person who is now dead and cannot even defend herself. First those minions of the arch enemy murdered Lord Captain Theodora, and now this will not be tolerated. It cannot be tolerated. Come on now, Abelard. Remember what she was like. Adira's smile betrays her grief, but at the same time, is strangely knowing, brazen, assertive. It was like her entire life was a race against fate until fate caught up with her in the end. She would have gone headfirst into a black hole if she had thought it would put her even one step ahead of everyone else out in the expanse. If we could just find out what she was keeping in her desk and why she went to get it during the attack. Sister Argenta's beautiful face is full of grief. How bitter it is to know 
that you were born from bad blood. But do not let this knowledge drag you into darkness. The sister's words ring with a genuine, sincere hope that you be blessed with a worthier fate. She does not appear to be shocked by the news of Theodora's possible heresy. Life must be so easy for you sanctimonious preachers. A dubious trinket and you no longer see a person. You see bad blood, an annoying hindrance. There's enough venom in Adira's voice to poison an entire regiment. A gentle recoils, but the next moment her dark eyes ignite with fury. How dare you admonish me? We are speaking of abetting the archenemy. A person who has tainted themselves thus could never justify their actions. Sure, why go through all the trouble of trying to make sense of anything when you could just label them a heretic and call it a day? Except, dear friend, I seem to remember that you didn't mind Theodora so much while you were aboard the ship. You didn't leave her side for even a moment. She rescued you, aided you, and your, your adoration wilted the moment you heard an accusation sullying her memory. You weren't surprised or upset. You just gave up on her and moved on. Argenta is right. The danger of heresy cannot be overstated. Lord Captain, I'm not excusing heresy. I just don't believe... I don't want to believe Theodora will be involved in it. That all the good she did can be so easily crossed out with a single word. Walk away from the device. Woo! All right, Lord oh, War. Come on. Ah, well, there's no doubt the menacing symbols are heretical. Nothing but a pile of shards remain of the sinister lens that the heretics use to burn out the eyes of devout cultists. Ooh, lots of interesting stuff. We'll check it out in a bit. Same here. I might need that armor. So shall it be. The pain is meaningless. Ah, uh, you know, I'll take one more of these, but that should be. I should already have all the armors for those that I need. We'll open this door. We're gonna need it in a minute. Calculating optimal route. Alright, shut off the steam. Demolition, come on. I better myself through my service. The markings on this box caster clearly indicate that it belongs to the planetary wardens. There are visible scratches and traces of blood on the device. The cogitator screen reads, access code required. Tech use, break the cogitator's defenses. The machine spirits look favorably upon you. You overcome the cogitator's defenses. A message archive loads up. Judging by the accompanying notes, the messages were meticulously transferred from paper to the sacred machine storage. Go to missives. New missive. Heed the words of a harbinger of Aurora. Let it be known to you that the prophesied hour is nigh, and the faithful must triple their efforts. Those who stand in the way of our salvation must be swept away. Let it be revealed to you that the enemy is about to receive reinforcements. Remember the name, Lord Highslander Von Balancius. His ship has already entered the system. We should expect this enemy to appear near our positions. Whoever rids our comrades of this threat will be granted Aurora's special blessing, a chance to stand at the prophet's side when the hour comes comes. Be vigilant. Let the final dawn come. Aurora's Harbingers wish you to know, comrades, that the Von Valencia ship is heading for the navigator's station. You've got time to prepare a warm welcome for the enemy. Go to dispatches. Tell the Harbingers we've intercepted a convoy of the governor's underlings who were supposed to meet that Von Valencia's bloke. Only one got out of the whole, only one out of the whole convoy got away, but he's not long for this world. No one's making it to the governor's hole. Not that youngster or the one he's supposed to meet. Our comrades have got their hands on a guard's boxcaster, and these fools have no clue we can hear all their comms. We know their every movement, and we're gonna throw them a fine welcoming party. Aurora must have no doubts that will do whatever it takes to stop her enemies. Let the final dawn come. Sheesh. These guys mean serious business. Operation success. 
successful. Awesome. All right, now let's look at the stuff we got. Uh, we've got another bolter. This one. Uh, oh, oh, oh! This is the bolter that we already uh, upgraded to. We. I hate that the rate of fire is low. In fact, here we we'll use this as a secondary option that hopefully I remember to use when um I need when it's time to use the heroic act. Uh, this is a better chain sword. We'll take that. These can go to cargo. These also cargo. What's this? Lightning arc. Does it have better bonuses than the one I have right now? Looks like no. Plus five willpower. And that's it. So we can go ahead and send that to the cargo. Now armor. Um, 25, but with a penalty. 30%, but with a penalty. 5% armor against ranged attacks. And plus five bonus. How much in armor do you have? Uh, he can't equip this. You've got to be a heretical follower. That's interesting. So she wouldn't be able to equip it as well. Yeah, the only person who might maybe a deer. Yeah, deer is the only one who could potentially use this and doesn't do anything for her. So we could. Do we, do we have keep anybody on the team who's heretical? No, we don't. So this can actually go ahead and go to cargo. Now this uh, 30%. Yep. He can take that. He needs that. Oh, we got heavy armor. So that means we need to go ahead and make sure we pick up heavy armor proficiency for him. Um, does she? Does she have second skin yet? I can't remember if I got that for you yet. I did. You do have second skin. And therefore, whoops, whoop, 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 you. There we go. And therefore, yep, this is an upgrade for you. We can send this to cargo. And nobody else is going to use this. So we can send all of this to cargo. Now, as far as these items, when the wear must fall unconscious, the stasis field immediately recovers toughness bonus wounds instead. Um, um, decrease the target's dials by 5%. What is this? Oh, no, this is definitely useful for him. Yeah, she might as well take that. What's this? Whenever the wearer kills two or more enemies with a single attack, the attack doesn't spend all of the wearer's movement points. Actually, this is useful, very useful for her. Soon she'll be that person. Grants 50% armor against warp damage. Um, this doesn't really matter for any of us, so you can go ahead and take this. And then, finally, we're here. Uh, you have no more grenades, right? And you only need two med packs. We're not expecting you to get hit up that bad. Um, I don't like 13. Yeah, here, you can take one more. And then that. All right. And then finally, we got some sheets of paper. Handwritten letter. Message from the cat. Brother Twilight's people are unsuccessful. A dangerous enemy for this plan. The duty is now upon us. Okay. And then sermon. He, the wars of Aurora, abandon your mundane affairs. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. We're all caught up now. And let's level my people. Uh, I believe during their turn, they deal damage. Yep. Because the other one is this, right? That's the second one. So, yep, we're good on that. And then you, you get a bonus as well. Excellent. Um, the war gains 4 MP for each kill. Yep, that works. And then what's up with you? Uh, let's go with 30%. That's definitely going to be useful later on. And then what will we increase it for you? Lore Warp? I don't remember. Probably Lore Warp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lower warp is fine. Okay. And then you. What's your deal? Ooh. Um, yep. Make your attacks uh, harder to resist. Excellent. You. What's going on? Same deal. Uh, you know what? He... You know, no, you're both going to choose the same thing. It's fine. And then you. Same deal. Now my 30. Except you're going to go the logic route. Interesting. Why have you maxed out tech use, but she didn't max out lower warp? That's interesting, but whatever. All right, and that bleep bleep bleep. That's all, folks. Okay. Um, we looted all these guys back here, right? So the next spot is. Oh yeah. Locomotives are fully operational. Ooh, lock safe. This exploratory is blessed with multifunction. 
This vault can be opened via the cogitator. All that remains to figure out how to awaken the machine spirit by supplying it with the motive force. Okay. You managed to decipher the technical litany. According to it, in order to perform the ritual of the modem force, you must first supply you must supply power, make sure the relay is closed, check that the damper is latched and the supplementary external relay is shut. The supply uh, must be correctly distributed, and in no case must the flow be reset before the circuitry is closed. Interesting. And then you also have uh, the ability to just pass a logic check. And I've never wondered so much. I don't know before. what that logic check does, honestly. I don't know if it's necessary to start the puzzle or what, but fine. All right, this one is always weird because it makes it sound simple, but it's really not. So you got to close the relay. Okay, that's an indication that I've done the right thing. Light of terror, guide our. And then. Unlatch. Everything appears to be correct. Okay. That's an indication I've done that properly. Hey, a body I missed. Yep, oh, all your this stuff. Master crafted the tenor is not nope, I just unlanced a dabner, so I don't need another dabner unlashed. Let's, let's make sure we got our loot. Let's leave not leave any loot behind. There we go. Um, so that's another one. Now they not provoke the whispers. My there we go. So increased. this would make you think that, oh, you're done. But it's like you have to do two rounds of it, kind of, I guess. Um, there we go. That's I'll another one. I don't know what the other way. dampener is. Nothing happens, so that means it's not the right one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Maybe it's not that way anymore. We did one round of it, and then you have to come over here and unlock the safe again with logic. And then you open it up, and then it just gives you a, a couple of things. Like, <laughs> that puzzle's not worth it at all. But, whatever. It's there. If you go, give me a puzzle. Give me a reward that actually makes me feel like, oh, man, I'm really glad I did that puzzle. Anyway, let's go to the sewers. This fight can be kind of brutal. Hopefully, I won't have to restart it. That would be annoying, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but I love this fight. I, I think Stop. they uh, did a great job designing this. The premonition runs true. You feel a slight prickling sensation at the back of your head. The barrier between the worlds has grown so thin here that you can feel the breeze coming from the other side. The voices belonging to the many residents of the lower levels merge into a single humming noise, unnerving and oppressive, much like the surrounding catacombs. Quiet. They're trying to tell me something. Oops, wait. Did I just, uh, spare me? Begging you, spare my life. A toxic flow of murky liquid comes down from the higher levels via ancient rusted pipes. I go where the whispers lead. The whispers told me a secret. Grant me the wisdom to perceive. Ah, damn it. No. See, I don't know if something special happens if you pass all the lore warp checks here. Over. You hear shrill, baleful laughing, baleful giggling coming from behind you, and it's getting louder. But there is no one there. There we go. Mm. Back here. There it is. The filthy, this filthy excuse for a table is smeared with someone's dinner consisting of alga and corpse starch. <laughs> corpse sound, sounds so disgusting. Huh, no warp uh, check pop up over here. I wonder if there's like an awareness check that was missed. Oh well. 
Increases melee attack damage against Damon enemies by plus two. If the wearer has the dogmatic conviction, the damage is increased by plus four instead. Uh, a nice little stroll. All right. All right, let's do it. Oh, come on. Ah, she failed that. Oh, wow. Cool your wickedness. Prepare for disposal. All right. She'll go here. You can go here, I guess. You can go here. Jetta can stay where she is. Cassia. She doesn't need to be close by at all. Lord High Slander doesn't really need to be close by either. Here, he'll go here. And sure, this will do. All right. I almost want Pascal to go first so he can handle a bunch of debuffs. Yeah, he's going to be more useful than Cassia right now, actually. So, yeah, here. Pascal, go ahead. Help us out some. There you go. There you go. Alright. And that's all we can do for now. Oh, man. There we are. Ooh! Just a minor setback. Just unfortunate. And he didn't even draw an attack of opportunity. Just, just terrible all the way around. Um... She probably cannot attack him without. Did she uh, attack him one out drawn? You know, she's not gonna do much damage to him anyway, so. Yeah. Faith without Come on, girl. I'll do it. Need you to get with the program. And there are enemies everywhere. Ah, uh, but still not quite close enough, huh? That's fine. We'll get plenty of momentum in this fight. That won't be an issue. All right, Adira. That works. What an unfortunate turn of fate. What an unfortunate turn of fate. And she'll add some more to On you. It. And she'll give you what? some. Was that you? Or... And then let that go. Ah, oh, oh, not going well. Not going well. Let's let her. Isn't this a job for the sucks? There you go. Pulls her off a little bit. And then, yeah, there's no angle where I'm going to be able to, actually, well, the chances that it'll stun him are very low, though, so we're going to let that go. Uh, really? She can't hit? She's the only one, huh? Okay, fine. And then, yeah, she's not going to be able to do that. And this is not going to be particularly useful. Damn. Actually, I wonder if force grenades work against him. Ah, uh, only a little bit. You. Does that reach? Nah, that's not going to reach him. It will be done. Reduced to dust. And, um, charge is not going to work against him. Oh, but you know what? Work Victory against you. There we go. It will be done. And there we are. <coughs> uh, 
Okay. Can he do any damage to him? A little bit. Um, Argenta will do her thing sooner or later. Give her this. And you know what? Yep, we'll go ahead and give her this. Let her get in the mix. Excellent. And then you can. I could go here or. No, I really want him away from us. To be honest with you. There we go. Yep, yep. Even though he's going to convert them, that's fine. He goes, he's going to be all the way up there. Convert them up there. Get away from me. Um. Let's go. He doesn't need to be debuffed anymore. Here. You can go ahead and deal with him. There we go. Alright, galore. And then, let's see. Sure. This allows us higher and go. That's fine. Give us some extra dodge and whatnot. And you know what? Take advantage of anyone he has exploits on. Great. Yep. Yep. Play around up there. Do all that you like up there. All right, Argenta. Rejoice in battle. I'll do it. There we go. Time to play. Oh no, no. Oh, I was about to say. Go. She hit somebody. Two, six. Mm. I'll do think this through. I should have brought her a little bit closer. That was the impossible. Actually, she could come around a little bit, I guess. Doubt is the weak. And of course. She's out of uses now, but that's fine. You did, you did your job, darling. You got quite a few of them out the way. Uh, let's hit the second ones in the back. Let Abelard deal with the ones in the front. All right, we're good. Oh yeah, Deer is gonna love this. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Let that go. Let all that go. All right. Uh, now nah, we're ready for you, but yeah, you're not gonna be really in range, so you know she's gonna give uh, we'll do into a little bit more defense as well. Give us a forewarning, and then that's about it. That's all we can do for now. Cassia, as always, uh, useful. There you go. Damn, she did a lot of damage to him. She did a ton of damage to him. Wow. Um, all right. And be careful. I'm gonna take Ooh, she might be in range for Argenta, right? Let's take a action. you know what the person we really want. You know, but I'm not sure if he can hit from that range. So we'll go with what we know. I feel relatively sure that I'm our Jinta can, can hit from, in a, from this range, right? Yep, she can. The and there's a possibility of killing him. There we go. And that's a wrap. All right. Now we just got to uh, take out these last few stragglers. Very nice. Very, very nice. Abelard. My place. Make sure that you're the first one that they deal with. Give them a nice warm greeting. Let's see, buff yourself a little bit more just in case. And yeah. Oh, look at that. Is that all is that all four of them right there in front of us? I do appreciate it. Let's get some of that. And then let's get some of this going. And then you. Get some of that going. And then absolutely we'll take that. And then 
that? No, it only hits one. That's fine. One thing at a time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And bam. All done. All done. Very nice. Very smooth. Okay. Collect all that. Activating emotive force reserves. Um, hypnotized and pendant. When the wearer successfully hits with a single shock attack, the target suffers slowed until the wearer's next turn. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Either Minor Icelander or Junta could make use of that. I think it makes more sense for Junta, what though. If I remember correctly, us. I might have a necklace on uh, Lord Icelander that I want him to, to hold on to. Hey, so you didn't, uh, y'all didn't join in on the ruckus, huh? Interesting. Say no Be more. grateful. Would have ended poorly for you. All right. And then we're going to open the inventory. Oh, he doesn't have a necklace on yet. So, yeah, he'll take that for now. And then we'll save this for Heinrich. So, that's it. That's all we need. went relatively smooth all the way around okay now you skills you're done with persuasion and that means you should be doing lore imperium and you're done with fellowship and that means you should be doing ballistic skill if i remember correctly yes um uh, so yep we'll take that and then you what's your deal you've got another one of these i haven't done your build yet at all so i don't know what actually makes sense for you, but... Oh, disarm, right? When the wearer uses a single shot attack or a melee attack against the target, the wearer gains uh, toughness bonus, armor precision against attacks, melee the target for one round. Yeah, that works for me. And then toughness is done, so we'll go with weapon skill. And then you, what's your deal? You're done with lore warp, so I guess you can focus on lore xenos with your heretic behind. And then willpower, um, we could go perception. Yeah, actually perception makes the most sense. There we go. What's your deal? Uh, you've already got rapid reload. You've already, you do not have unpredictable. Do you have, you've got enough bullets for everyone. You've got second skin. Um, I know unpredictable is one that I want. So we'll take that. But this is still is done. We'll do agility. You, what's your deal? um still don't have the other one yet that's fine um i am focusing on awareness for you and then we're done with willpower which means next up on the list is perception and then you what's your deal uh tech you so logic is up next intelligence is done perception is up next and we're good let's go onward Okay, so we cleared out the area with the lens. We just cleared out the sewer. That means we need to go back upstairs, but we'll go back upstairs in a different part of the map that is going to make the next fight a little bit the easier. This full of colors I have never seen before. I think this is the way up at least. It's going to be rough when we get to Act 4, and I, I have no idea how any of those fights work. <laughs> and I'll be fumbling around trying to figure out, man, how am I supposed to do this in a way that doesn't cause me to get just obliterated? All right. I warn you if I hear anything. Excellent. Med kits and some grenades is fine. Okay. This fight is brutal. Because there are a ton of enemies, and um, there's a sniper all the way at the top of that building. Usually, if you just walked around the regular way, you'd come from up top, and the sniper would have a clear shot at you. The future is By coming set. around this way, you give yourself at least a little bit of cover yes. from the sniper, and it's harder for that character to just be able to take pot shots at you. I see you behind there, sir. You can't hide from me. All right. Argenta is first up on the list, so we don't have to worry about her being behind cover. She'll get herself behind cover. 
Cassia does not need to be close, so we could just put we could just put her behind here. Uh, Pascal needs to be closer. We'll put him over here. Abelard needs to be closer. Um, I think I can get hit from here. The sniper's up there. Yeah, I think the sniper has a line of sight from here. I have a lot. Yeah, and it's a long time. He can't just be out in the open, though. It's a long time before he's going to be able to... You know, we're going to take a chance. Put Abelard over here. If, if, it, if the uh, guy does get a few free shot, if anybody can take it, it's him. Uh, then, for Hans Lantern, he can come here. He doesn't need... He doesn't need much vantage point. And... Yeah, I think that does it. Just about. Yeah, let's go. Oh, that's right. You get to go first. So you'll do this. Boo! And she will say... There you go. You're done for. And she'll give you a boost. Nobody else thinks of Lord Heislander except Cassia. Everybody else just takes his buffs and moves on. Um, yeah, this is slightly better positioning, right? But you know, it, it puts him in technically in harm's way, so we'll chill on it for now. Um, can she hit? Yeah, she can I hit will from there. This battlefield in righteous fury. Okay. Who is she looking at? You. I'll do it. Forty-four percent, not bad, but still, not uh, not ideal. I refuse. Let's try this again. And that's 30%. And that's all she wrote. Oh, well. Yep, you. Yep, everybody's getting in position. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yep, you all running around getting in position. No problem. Okay, now, Cassia. Um, I know what I want her to do. Here. Gonna if bring somebody else down here. There you go. Ooh, yep, took out one of those snipers. Um, and then she'll go ahead and give Lord Heislander another turn. Because he's gonna do a much better job of being able actually here. Uh you know what? We love each other. You're my serv servant and you serve me. Alright, um and then yeah, he's going to get a 95 rating against that. Oh, he could potentially take out two of them. Took out one. All right. And then she'll come up here. The navigator is coming. And who did she buff? She didn't buff our just the last time. That's fine. Here we go. And very good turn. Very good turn. All right. Now, Lord High Slander. Uh, if he comes over here... First of all, can he still? Oh, he can still attack from here. Excellent. Um, yeah, let's let's do this. Let's give you this. Give you a nice little buff, and then I'm gonna move you because I want you to come over here. Follow my knee. Start dealing with those guys coming from that way. Excellent. Now, I am going to continue obliterating these guys. And wait, 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 wait. Did I miss the one? Oh, him. I'm not worried about you. You're way up there. Can't get to you. But you, I can get to. And you're done for. More momentum. Ooh, is that right? All right, well. Uh, sure. Why not? And you know what? I'm still not particularly worried about you, so. I'll let somebody else deal with you. Avalar wants to... Get to these guys Victory over here. These guys who are hiding. Well. Yep, 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 yep. Excellent. Now, Mike will it let me... It won't let me charge up the ladder, will it? Nope. Can't charge up the ladder. Oh, well. Ah, I, I didn't even realize these guys are down here. Uh, yeah, it we'll do that. Done. And that. And we'll chill out here for now. Gloomy Rebel, Gloomy Rebel. They're still trying to get close. Every time they get close, they get obliterated. All right. Um, Pascal, I guess you'll be the one to deal with this guy. 
He does have a couple exploits on him, but it could be better. Um. Yeah, do that. And then give him some extra damage just in case what you do is not enough, which you probably won't be. I keep forgetting that your ranged option needs to be upgraded, but then again, I keep not coming across any uh, plasma weapons, which is really what I want you to have. Uh, 57. Come on, girl. Take him out. There we go. Excellent. 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 They cannot escape the Emperor's judgment at all. You are correct. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They're going to keep coming. 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 Cassia's back. Cassia, first and foremost. She Is feels lonely. Somebody should come join her. Uh, just uh, just wouldn't make it. Just wouldn't make it. Somebody I needs a boost. Navigator, She'll give him a boost. Not a or her boost. That's a dare. Um, does she need a move? No. Does he have a target? Uh, he might be able to get that guy. So yeah, let's let's give this a I'm try. I'm accustomed to being ordered dun, around. Dun. There we go. Yep, he sure does have one target. And he'll take care of you. And you're out of there. And that's it. Anything else? Uh, she could do with this one. Nope. Rubble gunner. All right, Lord Icelander. He has no targets right now. This is a problem. Still no targets. He could take. He could have a target from there, but that would put him directly in line of the sharpshooter. Not a good look. Uh, so here, we'll we'll put you here, and then I'm gonna have you. Hmm. Are you? Are you the person who should come around there? Because hmm. all of them are coming, all of them are coming around to Abelard. So actually, here we'll have you. Oh, you can barely get it, get through that way. Uh, you know what? Yeah, this is the safe route for you to go since all of them are going on the other side. So we'll let you do that. We'll let you do that. And in fact, we're almost uh, maxed out and ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was worth it. And there we go. But, but I can't use it on the right person right now, unfortunately. Um, here, if I give you another another go at it. Yep. Me. How's that sniper looking? If you insist, Lord Captain. He moves, but uh, it didn't take him out. Where is he? Rebel gunner, rebel trooper. I can't see the sniper from here. Um, she could, does she have enough? No, she, if even if I gave her that extra turn, she wouldn't have enough movement to come out. So, I'm just gonna have to chill. All right, next is a deer. A deer can come around the same way. Cover me. Anything Give her some is. extra protection in case she needs it. There we go. Now you can actually make use. Oh, I already used yours. Damn. I completely forgot that. I've seen worse battles oh, that's than not this good. in my time. I will do or my at least duty. it's not efficient. I thought uh, somebody had given him an extra turn, but no. Used I'm his. Not interested. No suitable path to reach the target. What about say? Come on now. Ball. Don't do that to me. There we go. A tactically sound approach. Look in the face of death, sir. Victory is Consider your life choices before the end comes. Ooh, you try to run. That was a bad move. So wait. Five. One. Where are all these people? It feels like there's nobody on the on the rooftop anymore. Oh, look. One, two. There's one, two, and then three. There's one, two, three down there. Four. Where's the fifth one? One, two, three. Oh, there's four, five. Where? Oh, here we go. Four, five. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So there's nobody on top of this roof right now. He... 
Lord High Slatter will take care of them. So, actually, we don't need everybody going over there. You can go over here, too. Let's do that. But you probably can't reach any of them, really, right? Yeah, no, we can't use any of that, so. It'll take time. All right, now. Even if she could get up there, uh, she wouldn't be able to use... Well, actually, no, she would, but... See, when I use this dash, I can't tell if I can shoot them from there, so. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Always the drowned the in serfs, scarlet. As... Oh, that's one of these jokers. Whoa, did she kill both of them? She killed both of them. Good lord, Cassia. Good lord. Um, how much closer did they get? They might be in range. Uh, and if they're not in, in range, he can move House around. Orcelio, I shall prevail. Nope. Can't shoot them from here. From there. Can't shoot them from here. Come on, man. Don't tell me that I can't get an angle on them. Oh, I have to go back. All right, fine. Whatever. It's not the worst thing in the world. And who is it? You, but not you. Interesting. That's good enough. Or at least it's gonna have to be. Um. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. So she can't do anything else. Go I'm ahead and um. To being ordered around. Put some debuffs on him. Can you do that? No, you can't. Good Lord, man. And he doesn't have any debuffs on him. So yeah, we're just screwed. All right, fine. You. Nothing you could do. Except, you know what? First, no, he's already got that. Here, move him up some. There we go. And then, uh, can you? Yes, you can. All right. Let's get these debuffs on you, homeboy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In preparation. All right. And checking one more time. Yep, nothing. Uh, you're not gonna make it over there. Avalard. Uh, oh, that's right. We got one more. We this need to really deal with. Uh, Avalard. At your back. There we go. Uh huh. You need a little bit more. We got a little bit more. Ooh, he's got some nice defenses on him. <clears throat> you took that like a champ, homeboy. Don't worry, we'll give you some more next time. Oh, no, you want some more right now. Okay. Bro, you didn't see me just put Endure on myself? That's not working. All right. Um, Give you some more of these exploits. Making sure all my homies just benefit from these exploits as well. Uh-huh. You're not going to like this. You're not going to like that at all. All right. Now, finally. Look at that. She's got angle. Uh, does she need to come up some? I uh, probably wouldn't. Have. You know what? Why am I even bothered with that? If you insist. You and there we go. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. Kasi is already crazy powerful. Let's proceed. And we, we haven't really, down. really fleshed out her kit yet. We're just, we're just getting started. So useful to have on the squad. All right. I'm alive. Let's, uh, service. actually, we don't care about that injury. No, I don't want to take a risk of, uh, know. losing a med kit for that. It is just fine. And, yep, all that stuff can go. So, as you can see, if you, uh, approach from the wrong angle, that fight can really, really get out of hand. Because that guy up there, brutal. Absolutely brutal. He's also got these sniper gloves. 5% damage, 5% critical hit chance of single shots and dead eye shots. Just just not somebody you want to mess around with. Find the right way without his light. Without his light. Boom, boom, boom. Um, Helm of Determination. 
who wear this helmet gains twice their fellowship bonus armor. The helmet also grants a bonus to fellowship equal to twice the Arcana class rank. And I believe that um, Abelard, with the Arcana class, will help you, sir. So the helmet he has grants a 5% bonus to armor. Helmet gains twice your fellowship bonus, which is three additional armor. So 36, 36%. The helmet also grants a bonus to fellowship equal to twice your Arcana class rank. So now 39, and it looks pretty nice on him. Interesting. Um, we'll give Pascal some additional armor, and we'll give you, oh, you got that plus five to persuasion. Ah, uh, we got plenty of persuasion. We can let that go with the sniper gloves, and we're still holding on to the other ones for Heinrichs. Oh, we definitely need to remember to give him heavy armor proficiency, and this is just a regular bolter, right? It doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't do anything for you. Those can start going to cargo, added to cargo. Oh, wait, look. Um, is this a better sniper rifle? No, you got the long last sniper rifle. There's nothing. This gives a, an additional 5% uh, hit chance, but other than that, there's nothing this does that your long last doesn't do for you. So yeah, we'll let that go. In fact, yeah, go ahead and put those in cargo, add to cargo, and we're good. All right, now, let's loot the rest Blessed of the bodies that the are down at the ground. Oh, wait, 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 we almost missed this. Ah, just some more cargo, excellent. Collect, 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 collect. Thank you. And okay, let's get our bearings. Oh, there's a body over here we haven't looted. Yep, nothing we need there. That looks like a container because it is a container. And we got that. And you know what? Now that I think about it, usually those traps are meant to. I've never wondered so much before. There we go. Almost left that body. Oh, that trap was just blocking the stairs to go up. Okay, cool. Now, if we go up to the top, this is the way over to the governor. We're not quite ready to do that yet. So we'll chill out on that. What's this? Someone had the misfortune of resting here when the first explosions ring out. Not a good idea, buddy. Not a good idea. Onward. The anti-aircraft battery's control panel has a panoply of mysterious levers and buttons. Deactivating it quickly is not an option. All you can do is blow it up, destroying it completely. Uh, tech use, examine the anti-aircraft battery. The anti-aircraft battery certainly was constructed a long time ago, long before the colonization of this world began. It comes as no surprise that the insurgents were barely able to operate it. Modern arms protocols are incomprehensible to the machine spirits of such an ancient construction. Demolition. Destroy the anti-aircraft battery. And now you know why that place was so heavily fortified. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Because it's not allowing me to move at all. Oh, here we go. The blast consumes the ancient weapon. The sky above the city is safe for flying again. Excellent. The ruined weapon radiates intense heat. And an oily puddle gives off a caustic stench. Spreads across the pavement. Calculating optimal route. So now that you've done that, if you wanted to, you could head back and use your ship to uh, head back to the void ship and and uh, have injuries cleared and things of that nature. But, of course, we don't need to do that. The shuttle must have been shot out of the sky by a powerful weapon before it crashed into the building and fell onto the once crowded street. What deeds await us? And now... We're back around from the edge of where we kind of came into this and had that first fight where we could have been ambushed, so. Um, oh, and we could come down from here if we wanted to. You know what? I never thought about that. I never considered whether or not which way is better, to be honest with you. But let's you give this a time. try. This will be my first time coming from this angle. And now that Will I'm looking do. at it, this makes <clears throat> this makes a ton of sense. 
Yeah, this makes more sense, probably. Kind of? I don't know. Because the other angle is here. You kill those two guys. Hmm, you know what? We can look at them, but they can look at us. Probably makes more sense to come from back over here. But still, this will be fun. Something different. All right. Um, Who's kicked things off? Argenta gets the first full turn. Cassia is going to get a turn early as well. She can go here. Or Heislander. He doesn't need to be close. He can go here. Abelard, I want you as close as possible. You can come here. Uh, Pascal, same with you. You can handle it, so you can come here. And... Yeah, I think that... That about does it, right? Yep, let's go. All right, you. Bam. And bam. Oof, somebody didn't like it. Somebody didn't like it. I don't know why. I am a navigator, Thought you'd love it. Not a servitor. Here we go. And that's done. And that's done. Argenta. Okay. Who's coming up next? Anointed cultist. That fire starter. And that cultist. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, and you know what? Oh, there's only there's only one of them back here. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. This cultist. Faith without deeds is worthless. Excellent. I'll do it. Boom, 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 boom. As the emperor boom, 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 commands, boom. I act. Ooh, come on, girl, you disappointed me. I'll do it. All right, little momentum. Y'all are getting in mo in uh, position. Oh, he's he's gonna be a, yeah, he's gonna be able to fire, but. It's all right. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Hmm, he resisted it, huh? Unfortunate. Here, Cassia's gonna give you a little love, and then I assume. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Look at you. You're in range of some people. Uh, you know, something tells me, Adair, you're gonna be the one to just go crazy. So I'm gonna give you a little love. Give you some love. And then, who can I hit? Ooh, couple of people. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know he's feeling the infection. All right. And you. Anything else? All of you are back. There we go. There we go. But she's not going to use it. I have a line of get back to you. And then, uh, here. Anything else? You got a little too much uh, health for me. So let's help make sure that you, your weaknesses are properly exposed. Oh, yeah, you're about to come mess us up. Oh, wrong angle, sir. Oh, you got a little bit of it. That's fine. Um, all right. Over there. Doom, 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 doom. It will be done. Ah, I wish I would have found a way to charge. Oh, wow. I will do my duty. It's fine. There we go. And endure. And now we'll, we'll get started on this. And now Indeed. you're done for. Dust. And Follow we'll go my here. Lead. You're it done for as done. well. And we'll go over here. And you're done for as well. There's two people left. Where? I see. Oh, you. Okay. You'll probably survive this, but somehow. Ooh! Look at you! Look at you! Victory is imminent. And you got fire, so let's give ourselves some extra protection. And there we go. And yeah. Sir, you've been hanging around for way too long. Here you go. Here. Do you feel exploited yet? You should. Just in case you're still on your feet. Ah, uh, almost. Um, can he? Nope. There we go. Ooh. Let's make sure. Nope, he can't. So, here, hold on. Ha ha! <coughs> Excellent! Running by 
And you're done for. And then he's gonna put a double stack on you. Oh, not enough to take you out. Ooh, enough to take you out. There we go. That wasn't bad at all. Okay, cool. So, there are a couple of different ways you can try to approach that fight. Very nice. Very, very nice. my destiny to traverse the unknown attention to detail is the mm. key to success what is oh, oh oh is it yep beneath us that's fine cargo we didn't walk all the way back through here before okay cool nothing over there there is something there though uh -huh, uh -huh. so shall it be the fountain's merry mummer seems to mock the surrounding chaos and desolation. <laughs> what was that? That armor looked interesting. Mesh vest. 35 plus 5% armor against ranged attacks. You can't use this? Oh, you've got to be a heretical follower. None of us are heretical followers. This is cargo. I'm sorry, Adir is a reticle follower, but she depends on Dodd, so it doesn't work for her. When the faithful are idle, heresy grows. When the faithful are idle, heresy grows. Carry right. the Emperor's will as your torch. So, when we first came into this area, we went up on the other side to deal with the sniper um, fight. We could have came back over here and went around this way. Which I guess kind of allows you to get the drop on these guys, but I don't like that angle, so I always avoid it. I probably still prefer coming from back there because it helps to ensure more of your party members are protected. Now, this banister is considered full cover, so uh, the more I'm thinking about it, the fight probably goes quicker by coming down from this angle. Because coming from this angle, they're all slowly coming forward, so it protects me more, but it also makes the fight last longer I than it has to. And considering I think this is the last major fight of the entire area, you could probably just go all out because once you're finished with it, even if you have a bunch of injuries, you're about to just go um, back to your ship anyway, unless you're just determined to resolve the last conflict in a way that results in a fight which i'm definitely am not hmm i think that might be useful for some of my people so i'll collect that and leave i wonder who i missed that on uh, hey. go Marching on. Serve the Emperor in your heart and deeds when you join the ranks of his illustrious army, the Astra Militarum. Fight heresy, serve a higher purpose, safeguard humanity's dominion. The sooner we start. All right. Some ten people, children among them, are huddling together in fear. You see that half of them have black holes where their eyes used to be. Some maintain a gloomy silence. Others are wailing. Several armed insurgents are carefully watching over the terrified hostages, snapping every now and then at someone for shaking too much or crying too loudly. Come to your senses, Arlen. Look what you're doing to your own family. A woman of about 60, gray-haired but still strong, is kneeling before a stocky man with a thick, pure white beard, stretching her arms toward him. Take pity on us, let us go! Stop talking and embrace redemption. Our children have gained true sight while you still believe the lie. Oh! Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Deborah. <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> All right, no problem. Take care. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. My mother-in-law just burst in the room, and I'm the only one who's supposed to be here. <laughs> All right, where were we? Upon seeing you, the man points his weapon at you. 
the other insurgents do the same. Who are you and why are you here? Uh, let's see. No, tell me, who are you and what are you doing to these unfortunates? I'm the chief. My former name, Arlid, is meaningless now. I am a father leading his family to deliverance from woes, to salvation. Aurora has opened my eyes to the truth, and my children will see it. Arlid, spare us! Spare your children! His mind and soul are pierced by shards of a colorful deception, hues once twisted by despair, and the immaterial's influence can never be the same again. Pascal's vox hisses furiously. Layperson, cognition is not your primary function. You are saving your kin by holding them at gunpoint and believe that burning their eyes will grant them sight. It is evident that the author of the demagogic teaching that confused you meant to make a mockery of your deplorable <laughs> intellect. <laughs> Pascal's ability to be so consistently unintentionally funny is awesome. Deplorable intellect is definitely a phrase I'm going to have to figure out how to use again. Abelard's face turns a deep red. To cast your own children into the thrall of heresy? To drown your progeny in this filth with your own hands? Are all these people your family? All of my adopted and blood children are here. I raised them all as my own. And now I must protect them, help them see. What are you trying to save them from? And who is behind all this? At a horror's behest, Ahura is a great prophet and a great warrior. This, their face is shrouded, but their gaze pierces the veil of time and sees into the future. I always knew the governor's dogs were hiding the truth from us, and now the day has come. A prophet has come to Rykab and Norris and open our eyes. The end of the world is coming, the final dawn, and only those who accept Aurora's truth will survive it. Logic. You have been torturing your own family in order to save them. You have been blinding them so they could see the truth. Those who lack faith cannot grasp the truth and will not be saved. The old man is obstinate, but you sense that the confidence in his voice has diminished. Persuasion. Actually, no. Law Imperium. You believe the heretic lies. You sold your soul to the arch enemy. But... If you renounce this path, you will still have a chance to be truly saved. The old man sighs heavily. I don't need your mercy. Protect my family, and as for my own fate, I place it in your hands. Dogmatic, kill the old man. Your family will be taken care of. As for you, I condemn you to death. The old man's body falls to the ground. As soon as the hostages see it, they start moving faster and soon disappear around the bend. Poor, poor old man. I try to talk him out of it. Woo! All right. Ooh! Well, that was unfortunate. Okay. Looks Let's like I stepped over a trap. Luck. All right, there's a trap over this. there. All right, they put traps down I there to make it harder for you to advance towards them. Interesting. Join up at your hive's nearest Ostra Militarum mobile cons conscription center. Whatever you wish. And with that, we have finally dealt with the leader, at least in this first area. But we still haven't found Aurora. I'll guide your vessel and lead you on Mechanical your way. Door. So this door leads to um, the place where we did the puzzle to open that safe. If you wanted to, you could come straight here and bypass a lot of that extra Blessed stuff in the fights the that we did. That we take. Of course, I want you all to see as much content as possible. So we went on ahead and did everything. But if you want to do a faster run, that might be an option. I'm not sure how enemies level in this game. I don't know if um, they just level with you, and so you don't have to worry about necessarily being underleveled, or how that works. Ancient Terra Monocle. The Where's Lore Imperium tests depend on fellowship 
instead of intelligence and gain a plus three bonus. You know I want that. There we go. We're going to go ahead and equip it right now. And then does he want the logic? He doesn't need the logic. So we can actually just go ahead and dump that, add that to cargo. And this plus five to persuasion, we don't need that. We can add that to cargo as well. We'll keep that around. Um, 35, does that help you? It does. So we'll give that to you for now. Add this to cargo. Um, the one-handed bolter, of course, it is not. Yeah, it's not going to help. Uh, Argenta, he doesn't get use of bolters. I, I don't know if Heinrichs gets um, the ability to use bolters. I might, I'm going to keep that around to check Quiet. that. Because that I might actually be kind of cool something. to let him have one-handed bolters and his chainsword or four sword rather at the same time. Check on that. All right, what's going on over here? Lots and lots of traps. Lots and lots of traps. The emperor you... favors me today. Ooh, 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 ooh. Never doubt me. I better myself through my service. Me the wisdom to perceive. The emperor favors me today. Ah, you're doing me proud, Argenta. You are doing me proud. All right. Never doubt Looks me. like they rebalanced uh, demolition for the full version because I definitely know in the beta it felt like Argenta was failing demolition checks all the time, even though I focused on it. Clearly oblivious to your presence, the soldier mutters incoherently and does not react to anything around him. Something Some... ominous lurks ahead. Something ominous lurks ahead. All right, what's going on back here? Over there. Ooh. Oh, Knowledge that's downstairs. Eternal. Oh, anything back over here? No, right? Yeah, it doesn't even let you walk all the way back over there. Knowledge is eternal. Oh, this master crafted patellar augment is not fit for a servitor. Go. I have no idea what Abelard is saying when